What is up everybody? Today I'm going to be talking to you about pruning your cucumbers. You're not going to want to miss this one. Now, right off the bat, I have to say that out of all the vegetable plants I have personally grown, cucumbers are the easiest ones to have success at. Besides giving cucumbers six hours or more of sun and keeping them watered, the best thing you can do is train them up off the ground. I'm going to be talking to you about pruning them in just a second, but I have to mention training them up off the ground on something like a chicken wire fence because getting them off the ground helps with airflow and the more airflow you have the less likely they're going to get disease and we all know especially here in the south that powdery mildew is the worst enemy to cucumbers squash plants and zucchini and that's exactly why i prune because pruning will help with airflow and the more airflow you have the less likely you're going to get diseases like powdery mildew all right so on a cucumber plant you have your main stem, which is this guy coming up through here. And you have what they call suckers, just like tomato plants. And that is these guys right here that are branching off the main stem and almost like creating a whole nother cucumber plant. So here's another example of a sucker. You have your main stem going up through here and then you see the main stem keeps going right up through here but right off the side is a sucker and that's almost making a whole nother cucumber plant also on a cucumber plant you have this foliage that grows off the main stem and all it does is create just a basic leaf and then you have tendrils and that's these tentacle looking things that come off the main stem and they actually latch onto things and can help your cucumber plant climb. Now some folks will actually pinch or prune off the suckers that come off the main stem like this. Now there's not anything wrong with doing that. It works really great. This will help keep your plant nice and neat and more contained. And some would even argue that you will get more fruit production because it keeps all the energy coming out of the main stem. Now this year I haven't really kept up with pruning all the suckers off and this is kind of the effect you get. You end up with a lot more foliage and a little more maintenance to do trying to keep up with staking all these up the chicken wire fence. But I think it makes a lot of cucumbers this way and I don't mind doing so. However, the problem becomes by not pruning off those suckers and getting all this foliage, you have to really do some heavy pruning to, you guessed it, create airflow. So today I'm out here in the garden and I'm just basically pinching off some of the foliage that comes off the main stem, thinning it out a bit. That way there's not so much clustered foliage and I can help with airflow which will keep my cucumbers living longer because they won't get the disease. And I tend to get pretty aggressive with this. I love to really thin out my cucumber vines. I prune a lot of foliage off. It really doesn't matter which leaves. Your main goal is to just help with airflow. Here's a shot looking at the other side of the cucumber from the back of the fence. And you can just see how thick and dense the foliage is. I'm gonna be going in there and thinning that way out. I had so much foliage that after I thinned it out, I realized I actually had a cucumber that was ripe. It's pretty sad. Here's one of the sweet success cucumbers. Now to summarize, the primary reason we prune cucumbers is to create more airflow. If you have a small space where you're growing cucumbers in containers or smaller raised beds, it's best to prune off the suckers while they're small as they grow. That way you can control everything and keep everything to one main stem. Now if you have a larger bed like this 12 foot one behind me that I'm growing my cucumbers in, you can kind of relax and kind of let things go. But I do like to go in and thin out the leaves from time to time 
Hey, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button. It really helps the algorithm, allows more people to see these videos. And if you'd like to get updates about every time we release another video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and notification bell.